Sometimes, heaven seems so close. The Pamir Mountains stretch throughout China's western frontier in Xinjiang. Water comes from the melted snow. It's the source of life for villagers, animals, and plants. The Highland Plateau is home for China's Tajiks. Every day, the family of 71-year-old Nazimudila get their water from the stream in front of their home. They're among the 700 herders of Ruskam village in Tashkurgan County. In Tajik, Ruskam means truly short of everything. This is where I've lived since childhood. This place has a good environment, clean water, fresh air. That's why I love it. We tend fruit trees without chemical fertilizer. 15-year-old Bahadi Yambizuyek is Nazimudila's granddaughter. She goes to high school in Kashgar, over 300 kilometers away. Bahadijang only returns home during holidays because the road conditions in the mountains are so poor. Life in the village is very different from where she studies in the city. Here, mountains are everything. No vegetables, no traffic, no hospitals, no shops, and no telecommunications. During the wheat harvest, my parents will be extremely busy, but I can't always stay at home to help them, because life here is too hard. Education is one way to get away from Roscom. Bahadijang doesn't want the life of her mother. Traditionally, women in the village must stay at home taking care of the family and looking after livestock all their life. Ruskom is among the poorest places in rural China. Though most families are already above the poverty line, there's a little chance to go any higher because resources are so few. Money alone can solve the problems. The government solution is to relocate all villagers to a new settlement by 2019. This bridge is the key link between Nazimudila's family and the outside world. Today, he's taking Bahadijang to the summer range to check on their sheep and cattle. They're taking some beans for the yule and something to eat on the way. The journey takes several hours. Today, herders have to travel further to find forage. Unlike China's better-off regions, Economic development in rural areas like Roscom largely depends on the government. But the complexity of the situation means feasible ideas are few. China has targeted goals to reduce poverty through measures like rural tourism and equal agriculture or e-commerce. But in the remote areas where the environment is fragile and in the ethnic minority regions, where people keep their traditional lifestyles, reaching the anti-poverty goals can seem like walking on ice. Their animals are the herders' greatest assets, but their income fluctuates with price changes. And the government has issued regulations to restrict herding to protect the grasslands. For generations, Tajiks have been living on semi-nomadic life, mainly relying on raising livestock. Life is hard on the Pamir Plateau, where there are vast stretches of mountains and Gobi deserts. Eliminating poverty is a challenge for all. The challenge has been met for the most part in China's cities. It's the countryside that's so difficult. The government aims to eliminate all poverty by 2020, including in Ruskom. They have their lives and I have mine. I can't raise livestock on the plateau all my life. I want to study and come back to make some changes. The anti-poverty efforts by the government are really helpful, but I hope the development will not change the environment here. The century's old way of life is changing. Nazimudila is not clear about what the future holds. But he believes the Pamirs will always be there.